Jonathan, you had enough time to practice at home. Let's start with the... Oh, it's already recording. Um, so, we move to the next guitar. And um, as I said, this guitar is so special and good sounding that I need help. And there is no one better than the maestro, the specialist in guitars. So, Jonathan, tell us about this guitar. What makes this guitar so special? Yes, man. Thank you for having me. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> thank you for having me. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> yes, thank you for having me. Yeah, you're welcome. It's a Finally, pleasure. Finally, we are on the same episode of the weekly guitar meeting. Finally. Yes. Finally. 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 And now let's talk about this beautiful ah, guitar. Yeah. This is a very, very beautiful guitar and special guitar from Hermann Hauser II. This one was built in 1954. Only two years after Hermann Hauser II took over the Hermann Hauser guitar workshop. Because Hermann Hauser I passed away in 1952, and since then Hermann Hauser II took over the workshop. Okay. This guitar was belong to Karalambos Ekmetzoglu. Mm -hmm. He was a Greek guitarist. He was a professor at the Athens Music Lyceum and the Greek Conservatory. Mm -hmm. As you can see, this guitar has a spruce sunboard. You can see the maturation from the color. And one more thing, the spruce has no cracks on it. This yeah, guitar it looks is very good. Amazing a, condition. Yeah, for yeah for the age, it's yes. incredible. This is, yeah, of course, it has some cosmetic. Uh, sure. Mm -hmm. It shows some playing wares here and there, but no structural issues. So we still have the original tuning machine, the Landstorfer. It's turning like smoothly. Has zero yeah, it, problem. Yeah. While I was uh, tuning yeah. it, mm -hmm. it's so and smooth. Yes. Yeah, would you like to play something a little yeah, bit? I would say, let's, let's see, see how, how it sounds. sounds. I refuse to talk. You say what you are hearing. I mean, from my perspective, it's amazing. I mean, for me, the separation of the each separation. Tone, this was the yeah. thing what I noticed at the first. Almost perfection. Yeah. Really, like the separation. You can hear each and every note very clearly. Exactly. It's like every note had has its own yes. highway. Yes. You know, it's yes. so clear if you play a chord. Very musical. Yeah. When you play uh, the chord, you hear every single tone. And the quality of every single tone are almost the same. They are like very balanced. And also the colors, no? We can do some... Yes, it is very expensive. Magic. This kind of instrument offers, I think, endless possibilities. It depends on you how to drive the instrument, you mm -hmm. know. The instrument will just keep providing and you have to know how to how handle to, the how instrument. To handle, yeah, exactly. And once you find the sweet spot or once you know how to handle the instrument, you can do anything with the instrument. It will yeah. open a lot, lot of, of doors. possibilities. Yes. Yeah. Should I play yeah, a bit play more? One more. Thank you. 
I have to be careful mm -hmm. while I'm playing because suddenly I hear so many new resonance and tones nuance. and nonces that I'm thinking I never heard that before on yeah. other guitars. I think for this particular piece by Franz uh, Schubert, mm -hmm. the Stenschen, I could hear clearly the changes mm. of the voicing from the middle voice to the upper voice to the low voice. Everything was so clear. Exactly. Yeah. Would you play a few notes on it so I can hear the sound of sure. the guitar from this side? Sure. And please, I mean, please Chacon from Bach. I mean, you have to sit here. And oh, yeah, yeah. Sit there because You're right. the microphone, no? Exactly. So, so what do you want to hear? Um, Rossiniana number three. <laughs> I can only play until here. <laughs> okay. But I think it's enough to see how amazing this guitar sounds also yes. from here, from my side. It sounds so organic. And if you play the melody on the first string, it's so clear and it's right? singing. Yeah. This is. Hey, it's my melody. It's oh, my sorry. Melody. Sorry, okay, please my apologize. Play something else. It's copyright. Yeah, uh, copyright uh, <laughs> issues. We have to be careful. Yeah, yeah. You have to be careful. I'm sorry. I'm okay. sorry. This is an amazing instrument. Completely, right? I mean, <clears throat> from the historical perspective, mm -hmm. it has a lot of historical value. The guitar was not only sitting in the shelf or in the case, but it was played professionally. And as a matter of fact, that uh, the instrument in this condition for this age and has well developed, mm -hmm. you got the best out of everything. Exactly. The sound, history, condition. I mean, this guitar can be played on the concert. Yeah, yeah, why not? Yeah. This is a Amazing. dream of many yeah. uh, professional classical guitarists to yeah. have such a guitar and to play it on concerts. Yeah. What do you think? I think that this guitar offers also a different experience through its clarity, through its balance, you know? Of course, this is not the most or the loudest guitar you ever, you, you've ever ever played, no. With this guitar, it's about the quality. Yeah, quality but of the sound. somehow uh, our ears also notice the difference. When the guitar is clear, you can hear clearly actually, not necessarily loud. Exactly. We can, mm -hmm. our ear can capture also the clarity yeah. of the instrument. So you were talking to Jorge Caballero about this and yeah. he said also exactly the same thing. I hope we could show you a little bit of this magical instrument. And Jonathan, thank you for being thank here. Thank you for the invitation. You're welcome. Maybe we can do it every week. Maybe we can present one yeah. guitar together. Yes. And what do you uh, think, guys? Let us know in the comment section below. Maybe yeah, this yeah. is something that we can do regularly. So it was the last guitar of this week. I hope you enjoyed this week's weekly guitar meeting. And it was a pleasure to have you here. Thank Jonathan. you for having me. Yeah. So have a good weekend and see you next week. Bye. Ciao.